so if you are thinking of upgrading to mac os 13 or have possibly upgraded your device to the new mac os ventura update these are some of the new basic nothing fancy settings that you might think of changing and yes this video that you're seeing here is coming from this iphone that's placed on the mac it's one of the new features that's here with mac os 13 of ventura and yeah, I'm going to be showing you some of the settings that you can change when it comes to this. So this used to be called system preferences on the previous systems of Mac, but Apple has renamed this to system settings. It looks like iOS or iPad OS. Now, if you go into your system settings and then you go to where it says general, the first subsection that we want to look at is this one that says airdrop and handoff. Now, I'll be happy to let you know that I've made updates to airdrop where the icon that you see on your iphone for example if you want to share something it depicts the mac or the device that you want drop to airdrop to that's a, that's a good thing so if you use airdrop you can always do that and usually this section here that says handoff for me when i up updated to mac os ventura it was disabled so if you want to be able to transfer your your calls like your facetime calls or activities from your mac to your iphone or even from your mac to your ipad this is a setting that i usually and typically live on to give me a better user experience and that continuity feature now also if we go back into our system settings and go to where it says general and go to where it says software update now if you're updated you will see a screen that looks like this but don't worry you can still make some changes here if you click on the little info tab there and you can see here with mac os 13 or mac os ventura we actually have the option and the ability to just install security responses and system files now this is highly recommended for me i don't even typically upgrade my mac or that or that uh, automatic i keep it on manual so that i can do videos as i've been testing mac os for like four years so this is a settings that i highly recommend if you want to keep your device safe and with the latest security updates i know for a lot of people when it comes to the last two previous updates they were really buggy especially when it comes to mac os monterey or mac os pixel so if you like the update you're on and you want to be able to stay on it but have the latest security updates this is a settings that in my opinion is pretty good and should be kept on and of course if you turn off where it says check for updates like this you see that you cannot install security files while this is turned off but you can can install application updates from the app store even though check for updates it's turned off so this is something that i recommend to check for security updates and have the latest basically protection for your mac and you don't have to upgrade your device to your mac os version in order to have and enjoy this if we go to the sounds section you can see that macOS has taken continuity feature to the next level. Now, when you click where it says sound, you can see you have output and then you have input. And on the input section, you can actually change your microphone here. So if you want to right now, you can see if I tap the Mac, see that the sound is coming from the Mac as a microphone. But if I, if I want to use my iPhone, you can see i can select it and every time i select my iphone it always makes that beep to confirm that the mic is coming from the iphone boom you see so the microphone is switched over to the iphone and also the camera is switched over to the iphone for continuity so that's just a pretty good thing and every time you go into your facetime and you actually click where it says video you can see that you have the option for your iphone and you'll be able to have better and smoother quality i like that continuity camera works in stage manager as well that is pretty good you can see me on the side there now if we go into our accessibility and then go to where it says live caption you can see that this 
is still in beta so it says live captions in beta and if you want to also enable live captions in facetime during your calls this is a setting that you can enable and then you'll be able to get the captions and the text display there and if you want to add different applications this is the settings that you can play with and actually be able to add this now for me you can see that i'm demonstrating this right from the um, stage manager setup it's pretty easy and a good system for presentation but let's say for example you aren't seeing stage manager and you don't have this option where you see it here if you go into your desktop and dock settings and scroll down to where it says stage manager you can see here we do have a subsection that stage manager that arranges your recent windows into a single strip and it reduces clutter for quick access so you can turn it on here and if you want to customize it too you can customize the way stage manager is going to open and set up you can see if you want it to work for recent applications you can turn this on if you want it to show desktop icons like i have here it won't look as clean as you can see but this is something that you can turn on or off depending on how you want your stage manager setup to look like for me i like to keep it clean and simple when i have this set up like this once you get the hang of stage manager and the way you can set it up and operate it you can actually have quick access to it if you want to have it in your top menu bar so just click done and go back to your system preferences or now that it's called system settings go back to your system settings and then go to where it says control center once you click control center you can see that when it comes to stage manager this subsection that you have here you can show it in the top menu bar and you see stage manager is right there you can turn it on off from there or if you want it on you can turn it on from there in addition to just having it in the control center that is something that's good and if you also like to see your battery percentage or have battery anxiety you can also turn on the percentage or turn it off depending on the settings or how you basically want to set up your mac on i like to see the percentage but this has been moved to where we have the control center sub menu section that's something that's good now also when it comes to siri and spotlight search i'll be happy to let you know that spotlight search is way amazing and searches for more advanced things so for example when we search for like mr beast when it comes to some of the links and websites you can actually have a quick preview of those websites right from the spotlight search you can see i just visited mr beast without actually launching any application so it's more advanced and way better it can search for even system deep files depending on how you set it up but let's say for example you don't you have a subsection where you don't want this to, sh to show so you just have to go into siri and spotlight and then you can choose some of the settings that that you can turn off for example if you don't want uh like system settings or system preferences to be found you can turn off settings for spotlight search or if you don't want it to show pdf documents or pictures or some fonts or events and folders you can always customize this and you can always add restricted sub menus depending on how or what you want to hide from the public or what you want to hide from Siri and spotlight search so that you keep your privacy so that's something that's good and uh, it's a great thing here with this update also when it comes to uh, privacy and security I'll be happy to let you know that this update actually needs confirmation whenever you want to install and add peripheral devices for the first time so you can you can see here it says allow accessories to connect now here it says ask for new accessories or you can set it to every time or automatically when unlocked so this is something that you can always check out and depending on how you want to have it set up now i do want to show you some of the new settings that you can set up so i'll take my iphone and place it on the hinge of my mac right there and you can see it automatically detects now this is called continuity camera and you can see my video quality looks pretty good let me see if i come close 
see it's pretty good and you can move around with your device but let's say for example you want to set up some of the new features and settings that you can tweak with uh, this continuity camera you notice if i move out of frame this does not follow me so if i go this way it does not follow me if i go this way it does not follow me but these are some of the settings that you go here so you can you can go into your control center right there and if you click where it says video effects you can see some of the settings that you'll be able to set depending on the device that you are using these are not available to all series or all versions of the iphone so for example just for basic continuity camera you need an iphone xr and then for desk view and uh center stage you need an iphone 11 or later and for studio light you need an iphone 12 or later and this is basically how you can turn on some of the new facetime uh, continuity camera settings so for example center stage when i turn this on you notice that my video quality goes bad and that is because the iphone switches to the wide angle lens of the iphone that i'm using right here if i turn it on the video quality improves drastically and that's because it switches off or reverts to the main camera and if i turn on center stage the good thing about center stage if you're in a room where you are probably going to be moving around so if i go this way you can see it tries to keep me center and i'm actually about i'm like on the edge edge of my seat so you can see it tries to follow me around and it tries to keep me central um and that's because i'm the one who's talking if someone else is talking then it will also do that so that's what center stage does and that's how you can turn it on portrait you can see it blurs and uh, adds that depth of field on my background and this is something that you can turn on here and studio light sort of dims the background and makes me the like more of a focus or more of central so you can see that and then desk view basically launches a new application that shows you what's on my desk so you can see when i start desk view you can see my keyboard here but and that is also using the wide lens of the of the iphone and if I, I can zoom in and out it's not the best setup that i have but basically that's how you can turn on some of these new video effect settings when it comes to a continuity camera and handoff too like i mentioned if you turn that on it is working so that is about it for me it's just basic settings when it comes to mac os 13 of ventura and uh, if you like this video do leave a like and stay safe and i will see you in the next video peace